Modern gaming laptops strike an impressive balance between battery life while web browsing and monstrous performance while gaming. The secret to that is a little technology called NVIDIA Optimus, and the newest version, Advanced Optimus, is a pretty big improvement. Join me as I dive into how this secret sauce works and why you'll want it in your next laptop. I'll start with the problem. How do you get a laptop to have a usable battery life while you're just writing in Word or watching YouTube videos, but also have plenty of horsepower to rip through games at hundreds of frames per second? Well, the method that we've settled on is to use two graphics cards. One is built into the CPU, the Integrated Graphics, or iGPU, and it's pretty weak. It has enough power to run the screen, but it isn't your best choice for gaming. It is, however, pretty efficient, which means that it doesn't use all that much power just to show you your cat memes. By contrast, the dedicated GPU, or DGPU, is a power-hungry monster but one that can power through any game you want to throw at it. Because that one sits dormant until it's needed, you get the benefit of better efficiency when just web browsing, and more power when, when gaming. The problem though is, how do you connect two GPUs to one display and switch seamlessly between them? Well, that is where NVIDIA Optimus comes in. Basically, the DGPU, your gaming chip, is connected through the iGPU, the low power one built into your CPU, and Optimus will switch the video feed depending on what you're doing, and that gets shown on the display. For gaming, it passes through the dedicated GPU's output, uh, whereas if you're just web browsing, it just turns the dedicated GPU off and only uses the iGPU. The problem with that setup is that your gaming chip has to pass its signal through the integrated GPU, which means both that the iGPU is adding latency and that the iGPU has to be running to do that pass-through, which saps power that could be going to your gaming GPU and even your CPU to give you more performance in games. So now we get to the new Advanced Optimus feature. The big deal here is that now instead of the DGPU having to pass its frames through the slow iGPU, you now have a fancy switch, which basically they both just connect to. That means that either can be running, but more importantly, it means that the DGPU has a direct path to the screen. It also means that the iGPU can be fully switched off when not in use, giving more power budget to the gaming graphics card and to your CPU. That fancy switch is called a MUX switch, a, a multiplexer. It's remarkably simple. It just acts like a two into one switch, the same as like two train tracks that merge into one, but only one is actually connected at a time. One advantage of this feature is that in the NVIDIA control panel, you can open the manage display mode settings, and from there you can control what setting you want to use. Optimus will auto switch, but if you want to be sure that the, you're getting the most performance, you can just set it to NVIDIA GPU only. Now, there shouldn't be much of a performance, fact, if any, performance difference on an NVIDIA Advanced Optimus laptop when it comes to gaming performance, since the DGPU is only connected to the MUX switch and not via the iGPU. If you're comparing between two identically spec'd laptops, one with just the standard Optimus, where the DGPU is connected via the integrated RGPU, and the other has Advanced Optimus, aka a MUX switch, NVIDIA reckons that you'll get anywhere from 10 to 30% more performance in games. Now that seems a little optimistic for me, but it's very difficult to compare two laptops of differing models to properly test that sort of feature, as things like the laptop's cooling solution play such a big part in its performance. Surprisingly though, there is a difference when it comes to latency. Testing in the default auto-switching mode, OSRTT Pro, which is available at osrtt.com by the way, reported an on-display latency average 
of just shy of 11 milliseconds. That's pretty slow. I mean, on this 165 hertz display, that means around two frames of latency, with none being lower than one frame. If you swap to the NVIDIA GPU only mode though, and well, hey presto, you now have just 2.95 milliseconds of input lag with only one erroneous result taking longer than one frame. That's really quite significant. So for the best experience, I would definitely recommend flicking that setting on before you fire up a game. In short then, Advance Optimus uses a MUX switch to change how the two GPUs in modern gaming laptops are connected to the screen. Instead of needing to pass through the slower chip, the MUX chip or MUX switch lets the dedicated GPU go straight to the display, meaning more power is available for the gaming critical components, and you get significantly less latency too. If you can find a laptop listed with either a MUX switch or NVIDIA Advanced Optimus, you should be good to go. So that is a look at NVIDIA Advanced Optimus and MUX switches. If you have any questions, suggestions, or any corrections for anything I got wrong, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. I would love to hear them. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this one, you can hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon. If you're interested in a review of this XMG Focus 16 that I've been using to showcase this and test, then check out that in the uh, cards above or on the end cards that should pop up very shortly. And if you want to support me and the channel and these videos, you can do so through YouTube, Patreon, pick up a hoodie or t-shirt like this one or a load of other ones I designed myself. You can also check out some of the affiliate links. And of course, if you want to be able to test stuff like this yourself, you can pick up an OSRTT Pro or hopefully soon the open source latency testing tool as well, which will be even better for testing in games and peripherals and stuff like that. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video.